Hi guys, welcome. In today's video, we're gonna learn how to record audio in our Android app. Now here is a quick demonstration for you that what we're going to build. You can see that we have an application here with four buttons. If I click this first button here, it's gonna start recording my audio. So let's click on it and record a sample audio. Hey guys, I am Pitish and this is an audio test. And the next button is to stop the recording. And now let's play the recording audio by clicking this button. Hey guys, I am Pitish and this is an audio test. And you can see it works. I will put the link of the source code of this video example in the description. So now let's build it. But before we begin, please make sure to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get notification when we upload more content. Now in our Android Studio, I am gonna use linear layout instead of this constraint layout here. You can use whatever layout you want for your project. We are gonna change the orientation to vertical and the gravity to center. And in here, we are gonna create a button with height and width wrap content. I am gonna give this button a text. Start recording. Set the text size to 19 SP and also text caps to false. We also give a margin of 8 dp. Now we also need to give this button an id. I am gonna give it start record. We also need more buttons here. So I am gonna copy this and paste it below. We are gonna change the id to stop record and the text to stop recording. Now we are gonna paste it one more time and change its button id to start playing and change the text to start playing. Now we are gonna copy this button again and paste it below to create our last button. We are gonna change the id and the text to stop playing. Now we have four buttons here. To start the recording, to stop the recording, start playing which we have recorded and stop the playing. Now we will go to our android manifest.xml in our apps directory and in here we have to declare some permissions. The first permission that we need is record audio to record our audio and we also need a second one and that would be write external storage to store the audio that we have just recorded. You can also hold the audio in your app but in this example I am gonna store it inside the device. Now we will go to our main activity and in here first we have to declare some variables. The first variable that we are gonna declare is will be our four buttons. Start recording, comma, stop recording, comma, start playing, comma, stop playing semicolon and we are gonna use media recorder class to record our audio so private media recorder i'm gonna call it media recorder semicolon we also need the media player class to play the audio so private media player i'm gonna call it media player and the last thing that we need is private string audio save path and first I am gonna initialize it to null and now we are gonna assign our buttons to their following IDs. Nice. Now we will call set on click listener on this start recording button. So start recording dot 
set on click listener new view dot on click listener before we start recording audios first we have to check that if permission are granted or not and i'm gonna do this by creating a separate method and this gonna be a boolean method so we will go outside of the on create method and in here private boolean i'm gonna call it check permissions and in here first we are gonna create an integer i'm gonna call it first equal to activity compact dot check self permission as always it gonna take two parameters first is our application context and the second would be the permission name that we want to check and in our case that would be record audio we also want to check for another permission so int second equal to activity compact dot check self permission get application context comma and the permission would be write external storage they are the two permissions that we have already declared in our manifest file now we have to return a boolean so first equal to equal to package manager dot permission granted and second equal to equal to package manager dot permission granted and what this boolean method does is it's gonna check for these two permissions here and return true if both of them are granted or false if one of them isn't granted yet now we'll go inside our on click method and call this method inside a if else statement and if it's return true that means both permission are granted and we can start for the recording else that means the permission isn't granted yet and we're gonna simply request for this permissions and now i'm not gonna go into the details how to request permissions because i have already made a separate video on this topic you can find it here and watch it and now to start the recording audio save path equal to environment dot get external storage directory dot get absolute path plus forward slash that means we want to store it inside our device storage plus name of the recording and that would be recording audio dot mp3 you can also save it in formats like 3gp web it's your choice and now we have to initialize our media recorder so media recorder equal to new media recorder now media recorder dot set audio source and in here we're gonna pass media recorder dot audio source dot mic to get the audio from the mic we're gonna set the output format by calling media recorder dot set output format and in here we're gonna pass media recorder dot output format dot mpg4 to get the output in mp3 format and we also want to set the audio encoder so media recorder dot set audio encoder and in here media recorder dot audio encoder dot as i hope you guys also understand what an audio encoder is now we will set the output file by calling media recorder dot set output file and in here we will pass our audio set path string as a parameter and now to start recording we are going to call media recorder dot prepare you may see this line as an error don't worry just click on this little let bulb here and select surround with try and catch and now in the try block we are going to call media recorder dot start to start our recording and it going to start recording audio from the user device mic and now we'll come outside of this on click method and here we'll call stop recording dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener and inside this on click method we're gonna call media recorder dot stop and media recorder dot release and it's gonna stop the recording and i'm gonna display toast message here recording stopped and i'm also gonna display toast message when recording is started
and now we'll call set on click listener on start playing button and to start playing recording audio we're going to initialize our media player object here so media player equal to new media player and now we'll pass the audio that we want to play by calling media recorder dot set data source and pass our string audio save path it gonna also show an error so surround it try and catch to resolve the error and inside the try block we're gonna call media player dot prepare and media player dot start and it gonna start playing the recorded audio and now we will call set on click listener to our final button so stop recording dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener and in here first we have to check that our media player object isn't null and if it isn't null we're gonna call media player dot stop and media player dot release and it gonna stop playing our recorded audio and i want to display a toast message here that our playing is stopped and i also want to display a toast message when our recorded audio is start to playing and that's it guys that's all we have to do and now let's test our app to see how it's work this is an audio test and now let's play it this is an audio test and it's working okay guys that's it for today if you have any questions or queries related to this topic please ask me in the comment section and if you are new here please don't forget to subscribe take care